Guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 15, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, huge information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here the Sleeping Giant is still sending these group intercepted at sea back to their land despite the lawlessness in their home. On Thursday, the Sleeping Giant Coast Guard stopped 65 who were trying to flee their land by boat and sent them back home. Guys, I'm a little confused with this one here. How come they the only one that is being sent back? But 10 million, or maybe possibly 20 million under the four six in the past three and a half years they are still here in the sleeping giant I'm just a little confused they sent them back and this is what you call true asylum the ones that came into the sleeping giant I mean they're their land is not like that. So, why is it that uh, they being sent back, but the rest are still here? All right, let's see what's going on here. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised that the four six didn't say nothing uh, about it. You know, usually the four six and certain four six, uh, you know, people. Uh, they come out and say, oh, let them in, how dare you, this and that. But they haven't said nothing. You know why? Because it's all just a, a stunt. It's all, it, it just, it's, it's nothing but a game to them. Let's see what's going on here, guys. So many of them are coming. They are coming by boats. And it's very important to share this video because they're trying to reach the sleeping giant. And uh, a lot of them were caught with GUN. Despite the lawlessness and the stuff going on in that region, famines and pestilence, the sleeping giant is continuing to return all of them as being caught. Alright, caught at sea. Back to the lawless land. To the dismay of that region and the sleeping giant who decry the policy. On Thursday, the Sleeping Giant Coast Guard stopped 65 of the, uh, those citizens who were trying to flee that land by boat and send them back to their home. Just imagine you in, you know, in that hot region, like in a boat heading towards Florida, and it's really hot. And not an easy journey. And then all of a sudden, you made it just to be put on a plane and sent back home. But what about the tens, you know, the millions that came into the Sleeping Giant? What about them? On Thursday, the Sleeping Giant Coast Guard stopped 65. All right, we're going to skip this one here. So there's a statement. Uh, there is a specific disdain when it comes to these group seekers. All right, so the first Sleeping Giant act is not how do we protect the people. It's, it is how do we deter them and how do we make sure they don't make it to our shores. And it says here, you have this person, I'm going to skip his name, cited, increased, uh, sending, uh, sending back an alleged mistreatment of thousands of these citizens who were massed under a Texas bridge in 2021 as further evidence of an unfair sleeping giant stance towards uh, basically seekers. Now these are the people, uh, this is what you call a true asylum. You running because there's stuff going on and there's a lot of famines and pestilence. And I even, again, we talked about this. I posted multiple videos about this. And I feel very bad. I do. 
there are many brothers and sisters in Christ out there. Some people's like, oh, Lewis, who cares? What do you mean, who care? We got brothers and sisters in Christ out there. What do you mean? Sometimes people just, you know, Christ tells us to pray for all and to help each other. But uh, again, in these end time, the only thing that comes out of people's mouth, well, that's not my business. Well, Lewis, that's their problem. I mean, would Jesus say that? Would Jesus say, oh, that's their problem. I don't got time for that. No. Jesus says to go out and to pray and to feed and to take care of his people. Some people just need to change that attitude and change that mind thinking. Because God, again, Jesus is going to ask you, have you helped my people? You have this person said that the lawless take over a port, airport, and much of the capital has created a situation that is fearful, that is traumatizing, that is horrific. Once again, we have a clear example that the sleeping giant policy responds by lawlessness when it comes to that region. Hmm. Why is it that the sleeping giant don't want to help? those regions but when it comes to Central or South America they do it seems like Mr. Burns the 4-6 and the president of Mexico made a deal or something so once again we have a clear example the sleeping giant responds by lawlessness when it comes to these people once again these group and seekers the Department of you know what security said in a statement that the interdictions at sea are done to preserve human life by discouraging the citizens from taking their very tough journey once again coast guard's primary mission is to preserve human life at sea the incident commander for the operation said Once again, you have this group on Thursday were sailing on a boat in distress, the Coast Guard said, and a good Samaritan alerted a Coast Guard commander center of its whereabouts and condition on March the 7th. Since October 1st, 2023, the Coast Guard has appropriated uh, 131 of these citizens stopped at sea. That goes to tell you they're willing to to put their lives. They don't want to be in that region. It's just famous of pestilence is really hitting the fan right now. You have the former four five accused the four six of the policies of leading to a mass ex exodus of that region to the sleeping giant. Is it true? When it comes to that region, that region has always been messed up. And I usually blame Mr. Burns for a lot of stuff. But this one here, well, I say maybe 5%, 10%. I mean, he's responsible for the uh, for the one that's happening here in the southern region. But when it comes to this one here, again, that region has always been messed up. This history in those regions that's you know has been going back and forth you had the US took control of it and then it went back to Haiti and then it went to the Dominican Republic and then it went to Spain and then it went back to the Dominican Republic and and now certain parts of Haiti so that region has always been going back and forth uh, but Dominican Republic has has grown their G uh, again their uh, GDP is pretty good they are on um, they like the number one in the Caribbean when it comes to tourist so their location everybody goes there in the summer and that's what made uh, the economy flourish in the Dominican Republic uh, so hopefully it stays that way and but knowing this story that's hopefully it doesn't affect it uh, it says here hundreds of thousands of uh, people are pouring into the sleeping giant from Haiti they are headed to the sunshine state but don't worry Mr. Burns has everything totally under control. And then he says, M-A-G. Actually, I think those are the people chanting. Now, the 4 or 5 posted on his platform. There's no evidence that thousands 
have been able to escape that region since the GUN man lawlessness has struck the main international airport on February 29th. With lawlessness in control of key ports and the largest airport, it has been difficult for most of those groups to leave. Once again, DHS also said that the number of these groups, citizens, coming to the sleeping giant directly from that land is too low. You know why? Because a lot of them is, is heading towards the southern region here in the Sleeping Giant. The DHS is monitoring the situation and Haiti and coordinating closely with the State Department and international partners. At this time, irregular uh, group flows through the Caribbean remain low. A spokesperson said, Sleeping Giant policy is to return, return them who do not have a fear of persecution or other or a legal basis to enter the sleeping giant. Those interdicted at sea are subject to immediate repatriation uh, pursuant to our long-standing policy and procedure. All right, so it seems like there's not too many coming uh, again by sea, but I do believe a lot of them are heading towards like the uh, southern region here in the Sleeping Giant. They can't go to Texas now, so they're making their way out there somewhere in uh, Arizona and California. Arizona governor is, uh, she's uh, asking for almost a billion dollars just to uh, open up more facility for the new ones that's coming. So uh, there's been a lot of information about new ones coming in, but this one here, they're not coming in. They're sending them back. The question is, why? I thought they were going to stay. They was going to send them to like NY or other, you know, L-E-F-T state. But instead, nope, you're going back. And, you know, we're going to be, you know, nice to you. We're going to give it the first class. But you ain't coming back. You make that journey again. Uh, we're going to send you back over and over and over. Uh, so, look. I do feel bad for them. I truly do. I've seen videos. I've seen stuff. Many of them is just want to live their life, but uh, it, it's just really tough. Now, there's going to be a lot of uh, in the comments box saying, oh, that's none of our business. Who cares? And this and that. Jesus cares. Jesus command us to take care of his people throughout the entire world. And this is the reason why the sleeping giant is falling apart. Because many in the sleeping giant are greedy. Too much pride. Which lead to sin. And which lead to a total fall collapse. Sleeping giant, when are you going to wake up? We're supposed to be a uh, land, you know, to, uh, to pray for many and to help many. Not to be too prideful and say, that's none of my business. That's the attitude that uh, keeps messing up and dividing the sleeping giant. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please uh, share this video. Uh, I will keep you updated on this story here, but once again, it's sending many back. Uh, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.